what is going on guys welcome back to the channel wanted to update y'all on my 12 valve cummins the uh 4k governor springs that we're going with weather's just now starting to clear up here um so i'm gonna get that project started we got a little bit of a hiccup i noticed the passenger floodboard uh, i've been having it's been wet and i didn't know if it's from the rain the past few days or what because my tow mirrors the factory was missing a screw and when you open the door, you can see water sometimes run out the bottom. So I figured it was running in there. But a long story short, I appreciate that, everybody. I put it on one of the forums on uh, Facebook. I looked under the dash, and yep, we got a heater core leaking. So that is going to be a project I got to get to pretty quick. Um, but we will be still doing the Governor Spring install, and I'll do that video. Let me know if y'all want to see a video of the dash. First time doing it. I've watched a few, and it looks like it's going to be a pain in the butt. Let me know what y'all do or how y'all do it, anything that makes it easier, if it's still just going to be a, just a pain. Um, but anyway, I want to thank Chris with Ducky Injectors. Got home today. Um, I talked to him yesterday. He said, hey, I'm sending you out some injectors overnight. Um, didn't cost me a dime. Um for shipping at all um they're five by 12 injectors um we're gonna give those a try for our towing vehicle um let's i'm gonna open this up this is it here guys the box that came in let's see here what we got what we got we got a core return which i'm gonna send my other ones that i have already here um Ducky sends you some uh, nice decals, Ducky injectors, and here are the injectors, um, well packaged injectors, um, let's get these things opened up and see what we got, let's see, let's see if I can get one out of here, there we go, okay, um, they're on Bosch bodies, very clean. Nice job cleaning them. Um, and here we go. There's the tip. We went with a, I'm thinking I went with the VOC. I don't know if this is a sack style. It kinda looks like the sack. I don't know if I went with the VOC or sack. I have to look back at my paperwork. But anyway, these are 5 by 12 injectors. Hopefully that'll help give me a little more boost of what I'm needing with the stuff that I've already done. I don't know. Uh, let me know what y'all think about ducking injectors. Um, it even came with, let's see what else we got here. We got the, the injector washers and the fuel line i call a little horseshoe style ceiling washers for the fuel line but anyway yeah let me know what you guys think on the uh ducky injectors have y'all had good luck out of them five by twelves y'all think that's where i need to start um i was gonna go with five by elevens but i just felt like that may be a little bit too small on what I need, and I don't think I could have went much with those injectors because I still want to later on put a different turbo on it. Um, we'll go with probably the Cheetah. I don't know. We'll, let me know what y'all think on a good turbo also. Um, and I'm going to send my other set that I have. i am been talking to Cutter Up Rob. I want to send those to him because he does nothing but Bosch, products with injectors so you get factory stuff and i know that's a lot better than a lot of aftermarket stuff so i want to send those injectors to him update them pop test them because i know they're something's wrong with them they're not right they've been in the truck and it's got 130 40 on it now and they've never been changed uh, so yeah, I want to get those sent to him, update them, see what he can do with them, give us a little more power on them, save those as a spare set. I'll put them in the truck because that's what I use with towing 
the camper when we go camping or I could tow the gooseneck. So well, anytime we leave in that truck on a trip, we're five to a thousand miles away from home. So I do want to make sure that truck has good stuff on it. But yeah, I guess the, here coming up, I got to do the heater core. It is leaking in the floorboard, like I said. Just let me know what y'all guys think. If there's anything that I can do when doing that job that makes it easier, I really don't want to have to pull the whole dash. And I'm kind of hoping that I went with, it's called dash skin. It's a cover for the top of your crack dash and you kind of glue it down. I'm hoping that does not have to come back up because it's not, but a few months old. So I'm hoping that don't have to come up. And honestly, my dash was completely gone. If I'm not mistaken, correct me if I'm wrong, I might have even been able to get in there to change that heater core with just the dash part gone. I don't know. But anyway, guys, like, share, subscribe to my channel. I want to grow this channel, but I need your guys' help to do that. Um, and if you want any of the CDP stickers, let me know free of charge. I will send them out to you. Drop a comment uh, in the YouTube uh, comment section and let me know. If you guys have any questions, just holler at me. Um, the next time I talk to y'all, we're going to be doing Governor Springs and we're going to be doing injectors and we got to do the heater core. Guys, I hope you have a good evening, a good night, stay safe, and we will talk to y'all soon.